Okay, sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me this week. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining. And yeah, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah, man. Right, this week we are talking about why you cannot hear the voice of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have a creator, he speaks. Did you know that? And there's a reason why you cannot hear him. And today, oh, my hair. Mihara! Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's get right into the video. Number one, you are not born again. And I know it might sound like, huh? I'm already born again. I mean, this is exactly why I follow you. But hear me well. So many of the times we try to be deep with these teachings and we don't go back to the principles, to the basic principles of the Bible says that my sheep hear my voice. So you first need to be his sheep. Sheep. <laughs> you first have to be his sheep so you can hear his voice. The scripture is so clear, guys. The first thing to you hearing the Lord's voice you need to be born again. And now you might be asking, what does it mean to be born again? Being born again is accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, believing that he died and he rose again, and he is with the Father, seated at the heavenly places. Um, in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9, it says, If you believe with your heart and you confess with your lips that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be born again. You will die to self and you will receive eternal life. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So yes, you need to be born again. You need to be part of the the, the, the fold, the sheepfold, um, so that you can hear Abba's voice. Okay, so yeah, let's get into number two. Number two, um, I wrote... No, no consistent Bible study. And remember, I want to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, I don't want to be saying, "Hey, you, hey, you don't pray the realm, blah blah." Nah. Let's keep it simple. You are not consistently reading the Word. Okay. Remember, the Bible contains of the Word of God. In the book of John, chapter one, verse one, it says, "In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God." So when I read the word of God, I am reading God himself. So the more I acquaint myself with the word of God, I am acquainting myself with God himself. It says the word became flesh. So the reason why you do not hear God is because you are not reading him. You need to read the scriptures. You need to read him, the word. You need to, you need to, hey, you need to eat this Bible. In the book of Ezekiel, the Lord says to Ezekiel, Ezekiel, take this scroll and um, you must swallow it. It says it shall taste like honey, but it will make your stomach to be... You get what I mean? So, the, one of the reasons why a lot of people don't hear God is because you're not reading His Word. It, you guys are expecting God to say, Hi, my child. Like, why do I like saying the Lord says, Hi, my... Okay, maybe that's because... His voice, his voice is like loud thunderings. My child, it is I, the Lord. Oh, today, go read the Bible. I, how? You think you're special? Huh? You think you're special? Go read the Bible. What's wrong with you? You think you're going, yeah, it is I. Go read the Bible, I beg. You know, read the Bible. If we have to read the Bible, go read the Bible. Because some of the things you hear, you have to go back and confirm in the word. So, Imagine you hear a voice now saying, Arise, kill a bull, and sacrifice unto me. And you're going to say, Oh, I heard God say I must go fetch a bull and kill it. But remember, it, the Bible tells us that there was, the, it says bulls, the blood of bulls and goats. goats. They, it couldn't do it. Christ was the ultimate sacrifice. Meaning that after him, there's no need for any sacrifices and then you go you get a bull and you kill the bull and then you say no i had god telling me i must kill a bull you're a joke see this is why you must read your bible read your bible that make me crazy go read your bible so that you can hear the voice of the lord if you really want to hear his voice you're going to read the word of god 
Zangko, number three. <laughs> number three, there is no fellowship. You don't pray. Remember, when we pray, and the, okay, a lot of people will say no, but uh, Joy, we do pray. Listen here, my darling. This is not prayer. Father, I thank you for this day. Lord, please bless my mother, bless my granny, bless everything. I am go out. Please protect me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> you think that's prayer? Father, as I go to sleep, please protect me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray every day. That's what they like saying. I pray every... Liar! You are not praying. That's not prayer. Prayer is when you sit down and you give God your undivided attention where you sit in his presence you are praying whether you are praying in an unknown tongue or you are praying in your own understanding but I would advise you to pray in an unknown tongue uh, but for those who want to argue praying your understanding is fine Abby different strokes for different folks no problem where you sit and you talk you tell him that Lord I love you hey Jesus my God David says you can take everything, but don't take your spirit away from me. David, who was not even a born again, was crying that, don't take your spirit from me, God. Because this is somebody who would write songs unto God. This is somebody who had a constant fellowship. Hey, he said, I shall look unto the hills where my help cometh from. My help cometh from the Lord. Where's your help coming from, my dear? Hmm? Hmm? So, when you spend your time in fellowship, when you spend your time praying, you get acquainted to the voice of God. Oh, yes! Because this is fellowship. Prayer is not, Father, thank you. Amen. No. Prayer is sitting. You are talking. Lord Jesus. And then he's bringing scriptures into your head. He's bringing scriptures. Let me tell you of a story. It's not a story. It's a real thing. Last year after prayer in the morning around, was it last year or 2021? I think 2021. Yes. Yes, 2021, not last year. 2021. Was it last year? Hey, I, I don't know. I think it was last. Last year. Yes, last year. 20, okay. Sharp. Between the two years. I was kneeling, praying, 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 praying. Then I stand up. My knees were so painful. I said, God, why are my knees so sore? Then he says, because you don't gym. I'm like... As if you dream. <laughs> then he says to me, ha! He brings a scripture, don't you know that the Lord does not grow weary? He does not sleep no slumber. Hey! Don't you know that your God doesn't go get tired? Hey! Yeah, no, that was a gem from God. That was a gem from God. I'm telling him, God, I'm tired. Why are my knees like this? It's like because you don't gym. And then I'm like, do you change? Then he says, don't you know that your God doesn't grow weary? <laughs> oh, I love you, Jesus. Okay, let's get into number four, I think. Let's get into number four. Number four. Let's get a bit deep now. Um, you are tuned into the wrong frequency. Now, um, everything has a frequency. Um, you know, just like how radio stations have frequency, if you want to tune into Metro FM, it's 90 I don't know but yeah you tune into the right frequency to hear exactly what you need to hear so this is the same thing with the voice of the Lord the voice of the Lord has its own frequency so you need to tune into the frequency to hear God's voice and you might be thinking what is the frequency to hear the Lord the frequency to hear the Lord is the spirit being in the spirit uh, this is why in the book of John 4 it says those who worship the Lord must worship him in truth and in spirit because in spirit is a location and we might be thinking so where is this location in the spirit it's in Christ in Christ we are in Christ in Christ there's a location where we live in Christ we abide in Christ so being tuned into that frequency where you are in Christ because remember this is what he says he says nobody can come to the father except through me all right, so I need to first channel myself to Christ so that I can be channeled to God. Uh -huh. Then is the same Jesus who says, I will not leave you as, a, as, as orphans, but I shall send you another comforter who will, not, who will not teach of himself, but he shall teach of me. He shall be a witness unto me. 
Okay, so when you are tuned into the frequency of God, which is Christ, you will hear the voice of God. Because remember, nobody comes to the Father except through Christ. So Christ is the channel which we channel into. We enter into Christ. That's the frequency that we align ourselves with. Then we will be able to hear God. You cannot expect to hear God if you are not tuned into the correct frequency, which is Christ. Okay. The reason why I'm using these terms is so that you can relate and understand what I'm basically trying to explain to you. Channeling, aligning, frequencies. I'm using these terms so that you can understand why you don't hear God. You cannot hear God outside of Christ, okay? And you need to live in Christ. This is why it says, in Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we have our being. These are scriptures. So the frequency to hear God is being in Christ. I am in Christ and He is in me. Do you get it? A lot of believers are not in Christ. A lot of believers are not living in the spirit. This is why even John says, when I was in the spirit, in the Lord's day. So the frequency, the channel thingy is, is the spirit, is Christ. Okay. So yeah, let's get into number five. Number five, last but not least, you are distracted. Yeah, I know, right? It sounds so... Mm -hmm. Sounds so easy, sounds so simple, but the truth is you are distracted. What do I mean by you are distracted? There's just so much going on. You see, the Bible says that um, when Elijah was waiting on God, it says his voice was not in the wind, it was not in the fire, it was not in the... Look, it, it was not in the theatrics. It says then after, it says a still small voice. Ha! Huh? His voice. Oh, the, the Lord doesn't, hey, are you, what are you, nah, God, no. You see, this is why you, can, you can't afford to be a person of the spirit and a person of the flesh because the voice of God needs you to be so attentive. It needs you to be constantly like this so that you can hear him because when he speaks, ah, he's not, it is a, uh, oh no, oh, nope. That's not how he speaks. So, 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 you are too distracted, distracted by the things you watch, distracted by the, by, distracted by the things you watch, distracted by the things you listen to, distracted by the people you keep as company. I, I need you to understand that these things are real distractions that can cause you not to hear the voice of the Lord. You are distracted by a lot of things, distracted by social media, distracted by your mind, your head, there's no peace, it's too rowdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible for your mind to be a huge distraction when it comes to hearing the voice of the Lord. This is why it's so important to always withdraw from society so that you can really hear the voice of the Lord. The Bible says that you shall hear a voice behind you, not in front of you, not on your side, behind you, telling you which way to go. Mm -hmm. In the book of Isaiah, that's what it says. So there's just too many uh, distractions that you will have to shut down. You know, hearing the voice of the Lord, is, it's, it's easy, but it comes at a price. It means that it's, you need to live a life of constantly praying, constantly fight, fasting, um, constantly giving yourself to the word of God. Um, there's no time to, to be following uh, series and Netflix. There's just no time. That time you would have given to watching that thing, you would rather give it to the Lord. So the more you stay in His presence, the sharper your ears become and your antennas become in hearing the Lord. That's why some of us, we don't need to pray about something for 21 days. I can just pray right now. Father, show me your will. Hey, it, 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 He will confirm it in so many ways. If I don't take a nap and He shows me in a dream, I will hear a voice. Or I will see something or somebody will just call me just so this is what happened these are the benefits of being a person who stays in the presence so yeah my name is joy the girl behind Jump to Jesus joy thank you for joining me this week um, I'm gonna see you guys next week please do like share comment and subscribe join the family um, this is these are the reasons why you don't hear God and I hope that if you found yourself in this list that I've just listed, please change, okay? We cannot be Christians who don't hear the voice of our daddy. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next week. Shalom. Bye.